here we are outside listening to the birds chirp. These are finches, yellow finches. Beautiful sound. It's the mating season for finches. They look like tennis balls bouncing up and down when they fly. There's one. Pumsastrius matuni balamita tayomita rida garantum ato grihak chitra sutop de vitaya janisha moho yamahoma meti. This is a nice verse in Bhagavatam. Basic principle of material existence is the attraction between male and female. And on the basis of this misconception which ties together the hearts of living entities, one becomes attracted to his body, her body, his home, his wealth, his friends, his relatives, and in this way one increases life's illusions, thinking in terms of I and mine. So birds and beasts, the Bhagavatam says it's not just humans, male, female, that are attracted, it's all material nature. Everything is based on this attraction to male and female. There he is. I think they're over here in the birch tree. Anyway, I'll show you what's going on so far. This is uh, garden number two over there with all the grass and weeds is garden three. Down here we got some brassicas, cauliflower, two kinds, white, purple. Uh, broccoli blend, kind that'll grow for two months, and cabbage and Brussels sprouts. And over here, it's going to be uh, corn and beans, where that box is sitting there. Oh, you hear that? It took off. Here we got the hoop house. Stuff is just starting to grow in here. Pear trees, apple trees. Lilacs, these beautiful fragrant lilacs. And here in the garden, the start of uh, winter squash, summer squash. There's four rows here. Three, four, five, six mounds per row, two plants on a mound. And where these buckets are, I'm going to plant some more squash. And in the greenhouse today, I'm going to start the tomatoes. But in the meantime, finish chanting my rounds and listen to the birds. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Ram. There's one. Hare Krishna, and there's another one. It's beautiful out here. So many birds singing. They're happy too and the sun shines. <laughs> it's not just me. We've been having so much rain here. It's been horrible. Now the sun is finally starting to come out and stay. Of season, some flower bearing spring, Krishna tells us. So, all these fruit trees, lilac trees, there's so much uh, growing right now. Over here, this birch, at the bottom of the birch is Siberian iris. They haven't started opening yet, but this whole cluster of uh, looks like grass, but actually it's they're going to be purple flowers. They look really beautiful with these birch trees. Yeah, I hear the the birds. The birds live in the trees. Some are ground feeders, but most of them live in the trees. It's such a sweet sound. It reminds me of Krishna and Radharani's parrots. 
they used to go back and forth exchanging messages between Krishna and Radha. And the birds were the ones that were carried the messages. The birds could speak to each other, and Radha and Krishna could speak to the parrots. So all these things we've forgotten. This is how one way human beings would be uh, directly linked to all living forms in nature. It's actually explained in Krishna book where Krishna Balarama, when he went to the ashram of Sunday Pandimuni, they learned all these different arts. And one of them was uh, speaking the languages of animals. So it's all based on listening and hearing the sound vibration. So this all comes and develops by chanting Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. All glories to Prabhupada.